For my pork stroganoff recipe, we're gonna use Helen Browning's organic tenderloin pork. So checking over this tenderloin, I personally like to get this sinew off because when it cooks, it can crease up and can get a little bit rubbery. So take a little bit of time, be careful, really sharp knife and just try and remove as much of that as you can. You can season after if you want. I just quite like to seal my meat because we're gonna seal this meat off. I like to season that. So duck fat going in. Get that nice and hot. Wanna seal those wonderful loins. So we've seared off our tenderloins, prepped, diced and sliced our onion with a clove of garlic, crushed, diced as well. It's in the pan, sweating down nicely. Don't want to overcook that, just let it sweat down, let it release its sugars in readiness to get prepared with the mushrooms. Chop them up nicely. A splash of wine to help deglaze the pan. And now we add two teaspoons full of smoked paprika, 220 mils of double cream two teaspoons of whole grain mustard, followed by some grated nutmeg. So now onto the basmati rice, a really simple way of cooking, perfect rice every time. Whatever your measurement is in the bowl, that's a cup. The water in this bowl is one and a half times the measurement of the rice. Put straight in, lid on, bring to the boil, Put it on the lowest heat possible and just let it simmer away for 12 minutes. Then take it off the oven completely, let it stand for 10 and you will have perfect fluffy rice. So in my steamer, I like to put some lemon juice in just so that the aeration of all that beautiful lemon zest through the steam on the broccoli, I just think it adds a nice clean cut edge. The tenderloins have been resting for about 10 minutes. I put these in the oven for about 30 minutes at 200 degrees C. But remember, it would depend on how much you seal them off because you're cooking them already. Keep your eye on them. I've got a, a, a thermometer pen because ultimately pork, I think, cooked at its best will be 70 degrees. I'm hoping when we cut open the tenderloin, there'll still be a little bit of moisture there, which will be lovely because we're going to put this back into the stroganoff and stir it through. This is my pork stroganoff dish using basmati rice, Helen Browning's tenderloin of pork and broccoli.